Okay, another skill found in Chapter 8, well, two skills are using adjustment layers and creating a clipping mask. And I have this picture, and you can download it from Moodle and play with it too. I like this shot of my husband and our two dogs. This is at Holden Beach last summer. And it's pretty dark. I mean, uh, it's a lot of shadow. You can hardly see Daisy. She's in the shadow. And so what I here's what I do. I do a lot of digital art and I do a lot of photography and sometimes my photos end up looking like this but I think it's good to uh, fix them and create art from them. The first thing I do and it is a destructive method but uh, this is the only place I know where to do it. I will go image adjustments shadow and highlights. Okay I can even go a little brighter with the shadows or I might not but this is a good start okay it brought them out you can see more of Daisy and I will go okay now here's where I'm in my layers panel here's where I start working with the adjustment layers if you don't see it go to window adjustments okay the next thing I do is usually a levels and sometimes I'll click auto see what they say well that's fine but I don't want to block in any of the shadows so I'll bring this black lever back here and I might bring this in. That's, that's pretty good. I don't want to blow anything out. How you can tell if you're blowing anything out is hold the option or alt key down and you can see what you're clipping. And that's not much. Well, it's on my dog's fur here, Rex's fur. Uh, it's clipping some of it. But I'll bring it in a little bit. I might even lighten it a little there too. No, I'll leave it darker because a little later I'll show you what I'll do. So there's my Levels Adjustment Layer, and the layer showed up here. This is the mask, and we're going to work on that in a little bit. And here's the actual uh, command that's being used, which is Levels. Okay, the next thing I do is I get the brightness and contrast. I never, ever fix a picture using this brightness. It either makes it all too light. Now, if you want that as a piece of art, that's fine. Or it makes it all too dark which you don't want. Okay, I mean you could do this as a high key image. I have seen art like this and, uh, and it's very pretty. But let's leave it uh, right at zero. Now I will bump up the contrast. Now when you bump up the contrast it also bumps up the, the uh, saturation. So I like that. Now Daisy's still a little dark but so let's get her a little lighter. But I like that. Now, do you know what? It's still a little darker, but I like the colors. So I'll go back to the levels. Double click on the levels icon here. And let's lighten the midtones a little more. There we go. I like that. Now, since I lightened it, it took away a little more of my um, saturation so I'll click on this brightness and contrast let's do an adjustment layer of saturation this is saturation I mean I can change a hue make a artistic piece something like that if I want let's go back to zero I can make it all light again although this doesn't look as nice as the other one or all dark ah you can make it all white so let's get that back down to zero but the saturation, I'll saturate it more and more. I love those colors. These pretty greens down here and the blues and my dog's all nice and red. Okay, I'll do that. But guess what? Looks like my husband has a horrible sunburn. And Daisy might be a little too red. She's not quite that red on her head. This is where you go on your uh, adjustment lay layers mask. You click on the mask, not on this. You click on the mask. Now, you can paint on that mask with a paintbrush and black and white. First thing you want to do in this area, there's a little button there to change it black and white. And you can switch them. Guess what? If you hit the X key, you can switch them too. So I'm going to be hitting the X key to switch. Okay, if I, right now, 
the mask is all white, that means everything this adjustment layer is doing is doing it on everything. Okay, so I might have to paint on this black over the areas that I want to not be as much affected by the adjustment layer. So I'll get my paintbrush, and I won't do 70, I'll do about 50%, and I'll have it black. Okay, now, and now you can use the bracket keys to make your brush smaller or bigger. See that? Okay, I want it just a little smaller, and I will paint lightly over his face, do a couple of clicks, and you might not be able to see it, but there's a little black spot right there. Uh, his arms are a little too sunburnt too, so let's just do one streak. And his legs are sunburned. So I'll just do one streak. Now Daisy's head was not that red and that part of her body, but her head was not that red. Now, if you look over here, I don't know if you can see it, but there's little black or gray looking dots there. That actually undid a little bit of the saturation on top of Daisy's head, top of my husband's skin, and maybe his tongue. Maybe his tongue's not quite that red. Ah, uh, do you know what? I think his tongue's fine, so I'll hit X to get white. And let's paint his tongue back. Okay. There. Those are the major things I do when I'm trying to get a picture ready to create art. Now, I could send this to another piece of software and make a painting of this, and the colors are the way I want them. Now... There's another thing that I want to do. I want to do a clipping mask. I want the name Summer 2015 to be down here, but not with a solid color. I want it with some sky. So let me go to the Move tool. Let me go File, Open, and in your packet, you'll see a sky image. I'm putting these plus this image and that image in a packet for you, okay, that you can download. Okay, there's Sky. Now, let me click that layer. Let me just go Command or Control A, con Command, Control C. Now, let's go back to my summer and let's go Command V. Ah, there's the sky. So let me bring this sky down oh, about there. So it's on the top layer here. It would have gone wherever, just above whatever layer had been selected here. So let me double click this and write sky, S-K-Y, hit enter. Okay, now let's get the type tool. And you want a nice heavy duty black type. There's Super Clarendon and black. The fatter the font, the better. So I'll use Super Clarendon black. You've probably got something else. And I will click here. And you want it pretty big. On this image, I've got 130 points. So I'm writing Summer 2015. And it won't matter what color this is. You could change color up here if you want right there. But it doesn't matter what color it is. And I will center it just about there. Yeah, that's pretty good. And then I will go to my Move tool. Now, likewise, we could click on Sky, and we could click on T Summer and see. Whoops, T Summer and see if we can get them right uh, centered with each other. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, now. We need to put the sky on above the summer. So I'll grab the sky in the uh, layers panel and put it above the summer. Summer's missing. So let me tell you what we're going to do next. The text, which is underneath the summer, is going to act like a paper punch. There, pretend there's a paper punch underneath your paper. And it's, up, it's raised with sharp edges along, along the type. And you're going to press that paper down on that type. Okay? So there's our punch. It's our type. There it is. Let's open the eyeball of sky. Now the sky's just laying on top. 
How you punch that together is you're going to clip this layer to this. To do that, hold the Option on the Mac, the, the Alt on the PC, and move your cursor till just between the two layers until you get the symbol of a downward arrow with a white box and click. There it is. There it is. There it is. Okay. I can click on the sky and uncheck auto check and have your move tool. I can actually move the sky picture all around and when I get past it, it gets turns all white. But you move, adjust where your sky picture is. That's pretty good. Or if you want the whole the summer to go up, you can do that. Hold this, uh, click on this one. So I think I'll have, I'll bring it down though. I like it where it's at. Maybe down a touch more. There we go. So that's how you move the sky and the summer separate from each other. Now. This wasn't in the chapter, but let me show you something else that's really, really cool. You can click on this summer. It doesn't work on the sky, but it, you click on your punch, your summer, the text that was your punch, your paper punch. You can go down here to effects. And let's do, uh, let's do a drop shadow. Ah, there's something wrong with this. There is a drop shadow. But do you see how my sun must be coming at this angle because of the shadow? Right here on the angle, it's got the angle going the other way. So I'm going to pretend the angle is going to go about the same angle as the sun was going. Otherwise, this would look to the discerning eye that it just didn't fit in this. This shadow didn't, on um, the text just didn't fit with the shadow on the pier. I can, uh, you know, I can make the size a little bigger if I want. I can uh, make the distance a little farther if I want. That's pretty good. Let's do something else. Let's click on bevel and emboss and click there. Now, why this looks like this and of course it's still the same angle that I created with the shadow. Now I've done an inner bevel which you want and you can do smooth or chisel hard or whatever I'm going to do smooth. Here's where I could change what they look like. This is what yours probably came out. It was linear under shading. Let's try this one. It looks almost metallic. I like that. Or try that one. That looks like it's just kind of set in. Or try this one. Eh, that's not as dynamic. Or that one. Or this one. That's not as, that's just kind of a flat looking thing. That's not quite so flat. But I kind of like this one. I think it looks sort of metallic. And go, okay. There you have it. We fixed this picture with adjustment layers, which are down here. We had a background picture, and here's all the layers that we did. Then on the hue and saturation, we undid by painting on the mask with black. The red on the man's skin and the head of the dog was too red. And then we typed, we brought in the sky, the sky image. And then we typed summer and brought it underneath. And then we did the clipping mask with the Option key. Now, if I hold the Option or Alt key now and unclip it, you're just going to see the sky. But let's clip it back together. And then we did an effect on the type layer. So there you have it. Now, this is similar to what I want you to do for the project with the adjustment layers. So watch this video. Get your own picture and use adjustment layers to fix it and then do some sort of type and clip it to another picture and you can do some effects on that type. This is the video that goes with the assignment that you need to use adjustment layers and a clipping mask to create an image. So there you have it.